What's going on everyone? It's APOC, your favorite host and Jealous Hater, and welcome to the channel. So it's been a decent amount of time since I've talked about these two goofies from KK and Baby J, and as you all should know, should know this by now, that I've been slowly but surely breaking down all the episodes from their entire cringy podcast. And I know I'm brave for taking that one on because it is very mind-numbing to hear these two speak. But anyways, last time on Bates, you know, their podcast, we dove into this mess, dealing with CPS as a YouTuber, where they go on and on about how CPS showed up at the front door, at least, you know, somewhat, because most of it, of course, was just all drivel, go figure. But eventually, they did somehow end up talking about the allegations, and that's what we're gonna get into today. Okay, let's get to the shit show. All right, let's get into the allegations that were put on us, because I'm sure, I know a lot of people were wondering that. You know, I just find it so funny and hypocritical that Karen Swan is saying this, because if anybody questions her, then they don't need to explain anything at all to anyone at any given time. But when people want to know the allegations or other details about their life, as long as it's not like questioning them, then she's just peachy with going into all these details. These are things that she doesn't need to mention, but she's going to do it to capitalize on it, to monetize it and make that money. Bruh. Yeah, Karen, what was that about not being money hungry? So uh, it's funny because the first one she said to us was, um, that the, there was there was videos of the kids playing by the pool alone. Okay, come on, who reported that one? Because it's two plus two people. Someone has to be there to videotape the kids by the pool. They weren't alone. Although I would say that they're not being responsible if because they're not focused directly on the children near a pool. Like I'm on board with that one. Although to that person's credit, vloggers are known for setting the, like, the camera down on a tripod or whatever to get vlog filler or montages. So who really knows? I don't even know what video they're talking about. But it's also not unheard of for vloggers to do this. OK Baby is the prime example of. There's a few videos on their channel where their kids are like falling into a pool because their parents are too busy doing, I don't know, vlogging. So I haven't seen Karen Aquile do that, but it would not shock me if they did. And she's yeah. like, before I even came to the house, yeah. she's like, I went to my supervisor and I said, look at this allegation. It says there are videos of the kids playing by themselves alone. And the supervisor goes, so who's behind the camera? I mean, I'd be laughing too though. Yeah. And like, they have to, they have to go down. Like, even if the allegations are false, they it, that's their job. But Karen's not wrong about that. If CPS is called, they have to go in and investigate, which is a good thing, by the way. But what Karen and Kuala like to do or promote or imply to their community, like to push out this misinformation, that because they moved into a gated community, that CPS can no longer like reach them, which is just horse doo doo, because it doesn't matter where you are, doesn't matter where you live, gated community or not, they can come to your home easily. A gate's not going to stop them. They're going to be allowed right in. But for some odd reason, like to push that misinformation out to their community. And you know, already hear the cronies. Why would they do that, APOC man? Because they're lying. That's just what it comes down to. They want to push out this idea that they felt so incredibly unsafe in their old home and that's why they moved. They push out this misinformation about CPS not being able to come to their new home at the lake house because they want to pretend like they have an actual reason as to why they needed to move, like go to that house. But they could have moved anywhere else. No, they chose that one. There's a reason why they chose that one. And in the, another podcast, they talk about it where Karen says they bought the lake home on an impulse and not a need for safety. But that's what I believe. I do believe that Karen and Qua push out that information that misinformation because they want people to think that they have to be in the lake house when they really didn't. And it kind of makes them seem like less greedy to the viewer. But I don't know how that works because of everything else that they do. That's yeah. the good part of CPS yeah, is like they sense. have to. And and there's no reason to be mad about it. Like That's why CPS is so great because it is there for the kids who actually need it. What sucks is whenever it takes time away from those kids. You know, I never thought there would be a day that I would agree with Karen like ever because well she's karen swan we don't agree with like anything she does but she is spitting straight facts here another allegation was they play outside with their shoes off okay so if it was some like hot ass pavement then i would be on board with that but they have grass and sand it's not that big of a deal and if you do a little research you'll realize that playing in the dirt you know barefoot is actually very beneficial to you look it up it's there that's just a parenting choice cps is not i don't like this person's parenting let's go tell them not to parent that way it i agree 
But here's the problem. Karen Swan would be somebody who would call CPS on another just because she doesn't like them. She stalked somebody before and tried to ruin their life by calling their work and trying to get them fired. A mother. This is another mother she tried to do this to. So Karen can be right. She can spew whatever she wants, but she's wrong because she's a hypocrite and she contradicts herself at every turn. So right. what was another allegation? Let me think real quick. Uh, oh, that Jackson has mental conditions that are unknown. I just would have left the allegation for Karen. She literally sat down and talked to Jackson and was like, this kid is smart beyond his years. <laughs> Everyone on the on our YouTube channel, on our vlog, our audience has watched him grow, but, grow up to be such a bright boy. Look, I'm not here to debate if Jackson is a bright boy or not. I don't. I don't care. He just said that his community watched Jackson grow up into a bright boy. But how did they do that based from 15 minute video, Squaw? How did that happen? Because by your logic, the family vlogger logic, which is just ignorant, you know what I mean? Like low level IQ type shit. But y'all spout that people can't know what really happens behind the scenes or what goes on in your life or can't really know you based from those 15 minute vlogs. So if that's the case, if we can't know who you are, then your community sure in the hell can't know who you are either or that jackson's a bright boy again i'm not here to debate that nor do i want to but what does is when you spew nothing but hypocrisy exactly but i mean and then it's not a bad thing if he did have some mental issues right but we would obviously take care of it oh you would take care of it karen is that what you would do? Like you took care of your so-called uh, miscarriages and your infertility by never going to a doctor, never went in to go get an exam, nothing, nada, just claimed it as such. To the, the point where I'm like, oh, Jackson is the best. He doesn't need any help. He is amazing. That's literally what they do all the time. They were just doing it. Karen calls Jackson the most well-behaved kid out of all their kids. Yeah, every time he ties his shoe, the kid wants a laptop. And when he doesn't get his way, he stomps his feet and whines. That's not well-behaved, man. Nothing against Jackson. That's on Karen and Qual. Oh, and then another allegation was um, Sutton's flat head. But we were... Does he have a flat head? I never noticed. Okay, one thing. We've talked to the doctor about it because after you see like a comment over and over again, you kind of get, you get scared for your yeah, own kid because like, oh, you man. care about your kid. Oh, okay. So when someone says her kid has a flat head, she gets worried and wants to go to the doctor and consult with him to make sure that her son doesn't have a flat head. But when we say she exploits her children online, she just shrugs it off and calls us a hater. Yeah, that makes sense. Does he have a flat head? I want to know from a pediatrician since I don't think he does, but a thousand other people think he does but those thousands of other people are just jealous right or just envious low-life losers so why in the hell do you care what we have to say so yeah karen just proved right there that she gets pressed at what people are telling her online which we already knew like karen and nicole like to play pretend and act like they don't care what people have to say but they do they truly do and, and to be honest i've all the vloggers that i've covered they're some of the most pressed people i've ever seen on this platform truly and it's actually quite pathetic how pressed they really are it's like dude get over it or you know if you don't like it leave asian skulls are flatter in the back or mm -hmm. not skulls whatever heads are flatter in the back is that a thing i never heard that before it's a trait it's a personality trait like okay it's not a personality trait karen because not all asian people are the same a personality trait karen god these people are so dumb a personality trait is something that's unique to you individually not like as a whole god man it's just really insane to me on how ignorant these two really are like a lot of people were saying like or oh one was what was it what was it? <laughs> there's no food in the house was another one <laughs> and she opened the she fridge. opened the fridge and goes dang these kids are eating better than me <laughs> well then um you kind of eat like shit then, girl, if you think that they're eating better than you. And to that person's credit who made that, you know, allegation towards Karen Aqua that there was no food in the house, maybe just maybe they were meaning like actual food that's more than like Eggo waffles and corn dogs. For the people who are new to the vlogs or have never watched the vlogs and just like listen to the past three podcast i just love this man i love it when qual likes to play pretend that anyone outside of their vlogs was watching this podcast nobody just stumbled upon this podcast and was like yeah man i really enjoyed this their podcasts are horrible and i'm not even trying to be like biased here because i think it's well known that i don't like karen or qual but if you listen to their podcast it's bad it's not structured at all and they just go on rant after rant after rant and they argue continually on there 
It's almost in every single episode. In fact, I don't think they've uploaded since like last December. Their podcast was just dead in the water before it even started. Kwa actually thought he could sit down with his wife and actually have a conversation. They can't stand to be around another. I guarantee you it's like an okay baby situation where they just did it for the money. And then when the camera's not on, they're away from each other. And just hearing us talk about all the bad things about being a YouTuber, I think it's because we never really addressed it before. Yeah. Our... All they do is address the so-called hate and negativity. These two are so negative on all fronts. They like to pretend they're not. They like to pretend they're humble and positive people. But no, just like I said, they're the most press. They're also some of the most negative out there our youtube channel we try and say as positive as possible because we ignore know the hate we know our kids are going to watch it one yeah. they don't ignore the hate at all they highlight it it's one person will comment something negative or what they deem mean or rude and then they'll highlight it on their instagram stories so that they can send their cronies after that person you know weaponizing their community to send actual hate on the person to bully and harass that person online they've done it so many times yeah, that's literally exactly. the reason we started was uh -huh. for the memories yeah well that's weird because didn't karen state before that she started youtube because she was alone she felt alone because qual was out working and she wanted somebody to talk to she wanted a community oh no but now it's for memories make up your mind chick so we don't want our kids to look back and say oh wow mom and dad had to deal with this cps being that. called on them that's our stress but the kids still had to deal with it though they don't have to look back on the vlogs and see it. They literally experienced it. They're part of the stress. They feel it too. What are they talking about? And they're not okay with that. Not okay with the CPS allegation bullshit, right? But not Karen, their own mother flipping off Qua, their father in public and causing a scene yelling about her STDs. Bruh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want yeah. and, and like even for the audience, you know? Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of the audience don't want to see the negative yeah, side. They get stressed out about it. Oh, God. So if you really get stressed out on what people are saying to Karen and Kuala, your favorite YouTuber family, then you are a press little person as well. And you are sad and pathetic that you're letting some randoms online affect you like this. Like, go out and touch some grass. Yeah, they they, they start are. going off. <laughs> they do. Yeah. I, our supporters. They go are, harder than so, we do. Yeah, of course they do because you weaponize them, you hype them up, and you send them after people. That's what you guys do when anybody speaks out against you. If you see a negative comment, you will most likely see someone defending us because Five. our supporters are literally the best out there ever. Okay, Qua, we get it. You have blind sheep, you have cronies that will defend you. Congratulations. We get it. We know. But it is funny though because a lot of the people that criticize them now used to be fans so what's your excuse there out of like any other supporter for any like i'm a supporter for a lot of people yeah maybe like david dobrik or corinna or something like that anybody that will benefit them anybody that can help line their pockets up with money sure he'll support that but when it comes to their community they don't give a damn they've been spouting for years that they want to help out their community and have not done it not once not yet they've never helped them out ever in fact they've scammed them several times another allegation was that jackson came back from uh fiji with zika and we didn't take him to the doctor i mean i doubt this allegation is real but to be fair karen you never went to the doctors when you had your uh, infertility and miscarriage stuff right so why should people believe that you'll take your kid to the doctor when you don't even go for your own serious situations jackson didn't have zika and if you know the way zika spreads that's not the way it would spread okay i highly doubt that karen swan of all people would know how zika spreads she doesn't even know how to use words like kira i'm not gonna take my kid to the doctor for a runny nose I know time. what it is, yeah. yeah. But you know, you had some miscarriages and infertility and pain in your abdomen and spotting and cramping and just all this crazy shit going on with your body. And yet you still didn't go to the doctor. So why would people believe that you would take your kid to the doctor when you don't even take yourself? She must give a lot of crap that being her job too, though. Oh, like angry parents? Yeah. Oh, of But course, the thing is, yeah. it's not her fault. Like, no, it's, it's not, not her, fault. her at it's all. Her, doing her, her job. job. Yeah, exactly. It's just like a waiter serving you a crappy burger. Okay, so maybe I like jumped the gun on that one a little bit because I said I agreed with Karen. I mean, she made some good points, but here she is comparing like a cook making a crappy burger and the server, you know, serving it to a customer to CPS having to go to someone's house because they might be abusing their kids. That's her analogy. Fast food. But I am going to seek 
legal action. No, she won't. She always says that, that she's going to take legal action against somebody, but she never does. People need to understand that this system is not is not a game. That's a felony. It literally is a felony. Yeah, Karen, it is a felony. But you know, so is your husband. Did you forget that he's a felon or at least was a felon? Because he broke into cars and stole a bunch of shit from other people, including a cop. He stole guns from a cop, your husband. Yet you defend him to the T. But all of a sudden, you don't like felons? That's a little biased, dude. Usually there's like a three strike rule where there needs to be three times. Uh -huh. But she's like in this special circumstance where you guys are on the internet and we can tell people are doing this just to harass you. We might be able to go around the three strike rule. Wait a minute though. Isn't like all allegations that are like reported to CPS, are all those based around harassment? Why do Karen and Kuala get special treatment? Because they're online? Because they're vloggers? That's not fair to others. This is no different than anybody else getting reported to CPS for some like bullshit allegations. They get harassed because people are being malicious towards them. This is no different. So why are rules being bent for child exploiters? It is not a game it's somebody's like family you're yeah. messing with someone's family at this point you mean like you did karen when somebody left a mean comment on your kick-ass instagram talking about false advertisement and so you wig out and you hop from platform to platform stalking them contacting their friends and family spreading rumors and hatred about them and then you find out where they work and then you call up that work to try to get them fired and again this is a mother you try to do this to a mother you also cyber bullied a minor offline so again it's the hypocrisy for me no one else can do it but her this is something you need to speak out on you have a platform you need to educate people yes you should use your platform for good you should use your platform to educate and inform people of certain things just like this but karen and Qual don't do that all they do is you know sponsorships and brand deals and exploit their children but these two do not use their platforms which they you know, still have a big one it's falling it's crumbling but they still have a big one they don't use it for good. They use it for their own benefit. And that's all. You can't do that. That's illegal. Like, you're messing with people's lives. Just like you, Karen, messing with people's lives. And just like Hua, who did a lot of illegal things. And still does to this day by scamming people. That's basically it mm -hmm. for that. Yeah. Be a YouTuber, they said. No one never told them to be a YouTuber. They just said earlier that they started their channel for memories. <laughs> you got a little worked up right there. Well, it's just like, why? Well, like, how can I? I would never. You have. <laughs> right, Quasi over here, thumbs upping me like, like you okay, said that already. Okay, yeah, you said like, that already. It's a felony. It's a felony. It's a felony. It's a felony. Well, it is. People okay. don't get it and they think I'm lying about it. Well, maybe that's because you're a liar. But notice how Karen's spitting facts. She's speaking the truth here, mostly. And Qua doesn't really want to hear it. He did that in the first part that we covered as well. He doesn't want to hear it. So he's okay with Karen lying out her teeth about miscarriages and infertility, even though he shows he's a little uncomfortable with it, but he lets her do that and monetize it. But he's not okay with her speaking the truth. Bruh. You're lying. Hey. Nobody came. Karen. Oh, I should pull up the voice memo that I No, said. no, no, no. It's no. fine. Actions speak louder than words. Okay. Well, actually, Qual, an action would be pulling out the phone and showcasing the voice memo that's an action you goon but let them comment tweet whatever karen why you guys get pressed about it you'll talk about it in the next podcast it is it's nothing to get worked up about i'm just like don't do that to someone yeah don't do that to somebody guys only i can that's the negative side that's of being the negative a youtuber side. But totally the positive, positive side is being number one on oh, podcast, on Apple Podcasts. Like, what the heck? Well, not anymore, huh? They ain't number one anymore, man. They let that die off real quick because they're incredibly inconsistent and lazy. Which is fine, you know, the less content these clowns have, the better. Because anything they push out is just trash. But that's all I got for now, guys. I thought it was a good time to push out another KK and Baby J video. It's been a little bit. But uh, leave your thoughts down below. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video. Everyone, please. It does me a great deal. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye. Okay,